Jason Folliwell, one of the only people in the room that tells you the truth. Uh, by the way, your citizens' comment stuff is that you can do everything you just said is not against the law. Uh, I can personally affront you, cuss at you, do whatever I want, and you have to listen to me because you work for me. You need to remember that, boy. All right. Chief Blanchard. Chief Blanchard, 1247, you spent... Hey, no. Excuse me? I Excuse just me. Read, I just read you the and first warning. And you're lying okay. to the public. I'm not going to put up... I'm not going to put up with any you. Any defamation of cover, character. That's not defamation of fact. I, I don't care. You have to care. I'm not going to put up with no profanity or anything. You either act like an adult and speak right to everybody that's here, and you have the privilege to speak your mind for privilege. three minutes. You work to I'm me, just saying, boy. You need to remember I'm just that. You. Go ahead. That's your Go warning. Ahead. Okay, I, I'm telling you. Now, rewind my clock while I finish my statement. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Chief Blanchard. $1,247 fitted suit you stole from the company. From us. You work for us. Mm. On 9-10-23. Kerry Shrugs, you lied to the public. Kerry Shrugs on Facebook stated that these personally fitted suits was pre-approved by the council and manager of 2011. Jason Knight's dad was that man, man was that mayor then. Guess what he said, Kerry? Never approved that. Mm. Laugh at me all you want. Modifications to the policy manual took place almost 40 days after I complained about him. Y'all modified it. Why did y'all modify it? You know when it was modified before, Kerry? Not 2011. I do. 2019, 2014, 2004. You lied to the public. Even with the recent modifications, a Class A uniform is the highest uniform APBD has, and it is not a suit, you scumbag. Uniform Class A. Did you have a dress hat? No, you did not. Long sleeves. Did you, ha did you have that? Yes, you did. Tie, yes. Trousers, yes. Skirt, I mean, maybe. Mr. Mayor. Black belt. I'm personal, talking. It's my turn to talk. Personal attack once again, Mayor. Peace. Will you? I don't give a crap what you say. You piece okay, oh, no. Lord. There it is again. I can talk like Here that. It's the First uh, Amendment right. You are violating right. the rules of the court. Chief Branson, you are what First Amendment right did I violate? Oh. No, I'm not. He's the I'm guy. Not you tell me. It. I'm not. What, what First Amendment right I'm did not. I violate? I'm not. You're either going to respect this place or you're going to be asked to walk out. Am I under the arrest of arrest? You're going to go to jail if you... I'm going to be up. arrested. Let's Fine. Okay. Here. Oh, I can go. Uh, Mr. Mayor, City Council, my name is C.J. Grisham. I'm a civil rights attorney here in Texas, and uh, what I just witnessed was a violation of Mr. Followell's rights. Uh, let me read something to you. Arresting someone in retaliation for the exercise of free speech rights is sufficient to chill speech as an understatement. This is Beck v. City of Upland. Uh, Arguing, even if done loudly with a profane or offensive language will, language, will not in and of itself constitute disorderly conduct. That's Payne v. Pauley. Swear words do not provide probable cause for an arrest for disorderly conduct because the words as a matter of law are not fighting words. Johnson v. Campbell. I could go on, Mr. Mayor. Your rules of decorum are unconstitutional and they're setting the city up, you individually, you individually for liability. Now, you will be seeing a letter from me, a demand letter for violating my client's rights just now because he has the right to say bitch, whatever. He has the right to say all of those words because it is a First Amendment right. You can't do anything about it. Let me tell you something. The law has long established that arresting an individual for publicly displaying vulgarities violates the First Amendment. That's the Cohen case, 1969. Indeed, the Supreme Court recently held that a public school violated the free speech rights of a cheerleader by suspending her when she said things like school, softball, cheer, everything. Then there was another, uh, that's uh, Mahoney, Mahoney Area School District, VBL. Uh, there's also Eaches v. Steelman saying that a police officer was not entitled to qualified immunity for arresting a plaintiff who said, you, did you hear that? Here we go. No qualified immunity. So I can say throughout my entire three minutes, I can say again, and I can say again, and there's nothing you can do about it because it's called expressive speech. We are allowed to express ourselves. We are allowed to 
talk about what we think about you. If I think you, Mr. Mayor, are a tyrant, okay. I can say that. If I think the city manager is a piece of shit, I can okay, say that. No, it's I'm protected. Not, okay. This is the case I'm law. Not, not, I don't give a shit part. what you, you think. The law you? is right. You escort me out, I'll sue you as well, Mr. Mayor. You do whatever you want. This is the law no, right no, here. No, and if these no, chiefs no, come no, out no, here no, and pull me out of this meeting, you had better read this, chief, because he's telling you to break the law. No, I'm not. Yeah. You can take him out. Now, where'd that coward you carry you scrubs go? You go out. Where'd the coward carry scrubs no. go? Take him out. Is my take three minutes no. up? No. Is my, what am I gone for? What am I gone for? No, no. I, I, he I he holds the court by the law. Goodbye. You're going to go to jail for disrespect. Oh, you're going to arrest me? Oh, you're going to arrest me? Okay, so under the threat of arrest, you just file All right. Okay. these because uh, you have no qualified immunity. Goodbye. Oh, go file. I'm out of the meeting. Yeah, I can stay right no, here. No, no, I'm not. No, I have no, left no. the meeting. No, no, you're gone. I have left the meeting. I'm not in the meeting anymore. Weeks. I'm not in the meeting anymore. Goodbye. He's gone. No, I'm going to stay here quietly jail. for disrupting. He doesn't want to listen. You guys might want to, you guys might want to read this case law. You're, you're, one of you better read this case law. None of you have qualified immunity. Sue, sue already. Okay, in that case, all right, here. Let me get everybody's badge no, numbers. Sir, I can't you have can you get it out here right now? You're gone. Right. I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be quiet. You're gone. Good luck, my paper. What the fuck are you doing? Goodbye. You've been asked to leave. Please leave. Stop Under making what authority? The mayor kicked action. you out of the meeting. He, he unlawfully kicked me out of the meeting. We are still disrupting your meeting. Then close the door, big. Close the door? Okay. Yeah, close the door, man. It's not a public meeting? Thank you, sir. Excuse me, don't touch me. Don't touch me. You are assaulting me right now. Please walk. Don't touch me. Please walk. You're not following commands. Thank you. Well, I'm, I'm not following a lawful command. Okay. All right, so we got Persian. Persian, what's your badge number? 412, sir. 412. Next? Salazar. Salazar. 430. Next? How do you spell that? How do you spell that? S T R E I C H. Four forty two. Next. A Baker. Baker. A Baker. Four three two. Four three two. Next. W H I P K E Y. Four thirty seven. Next. H Thomas. Brian. Good to meet. Four thirty five. Four thirty five. Next. Is that it? That was rude of me. And Blanchard? Four zero one. I understand you're not mad. I understand. Guys, I want you to know something. Yes, sir. I literally quoted them. Yes, sir. The case. Whoops, there it is. Sorry. I literally quoted them the case law. Okay. That what he just did is unlawful. Yeah. I also quoted the quick case law that you lose qualified immunity by arresting me for what you just I did. Was okay. okay. I literally. So. No, by, but you also, uh, you the, would have arrested me. You threatened arrest. to arrest me. I didn't threaten to arrest Your you. chief threatened to arrest me, and he told you to arrest me by if me. I didn't leave. Which is under duress. Which is under duress. That is, that is essentially an arrest. Okay. 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 So none of you have qualified immunity. Okay. If I walk through this door, who's going to arrest me? If I, I need to know. The official proceeding, sir. You yes. Be in there who will who will not arrest me if I go through this door? I want you to go in there and speak, but I want you to speak in a calm. No, no, I'm done speaking. That's all been done. What I want to know is, yeah. if I go back in this door, yeah. who is going to not arrest me? Are you going to disrupt the proceedings? I didn't disrupt the proceeding last time. It sounded like you were allowed in the hallway, and then we had. No, I was allowed in the hallway you. because you were illegally pushing me out of a meeting. Yeah, well, the mayor kicked out. me out. Okay. I wasn't there for that. I was there for you getting out of the building. So you don't know what happened in there. So why are you saying that I was disrupting the meeting when you have no idea what I was doing in there? I didn't. Oh, okay. I said you were disrupting the meeting because the chief said you were disrupting the meeting. That part I heard. Okay. And the chief said I was disrupting the meeting because I said at the podium, which this specifically says the word, because I even quoted straight from the case law, school, cheer, softball, everything that's mahoney area school district vbl okay all right that his that her free speech rights were violated yeah. when they suspended her for that okay there's the cohen case where he was at a meeting and he wore a draft same thing okay so i said the mayor said i can't say that i says well mayor i just read you the case law i can say 
as much as I want. Mm -hmm. I can say you, I can say them, I can say piece of shit. Yep. And Did you, you expect them to know that? I just read it to them. Said? I literally just read it to them. I could print something off the internet that says what I wanted to. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you, are, is I that could, really your argument? I could print something off. When a lawyer comes up here, yeah. who's an officer of the court, okay. and says what the law is, and there's not a city attorney in there. This isn't a court proceeding, though. It's not, but this is a public meeting yes, sir. where I have a right yes. to seek redress. Do I not? Yes. I have a right to criticize elected officials. Yes, he sir. has a yes. right. Absolutely. To now, I'm not going to sue on my behalf. I, okay. I'm going to sue on his behalf. Okay. So I need to know, I guess, even more appropriately, yeah. if Mr. Followell goes back in there, mm -hmm. is he going to be arrested? He, I don't believe that the term, I mean, there's. He doesn't have a criminal trespass. He was. Well, let's try it then. Let's see if we can just go sit down. All right. And just don't say a word. All right.